So let's take a look at master slides in PowerPoint or slide masters. So let's say that you want the same look and feel all the time on your slideshows or whatever you're doing in PowerPoint, the same titles and you want your name and maybe your contact information on every slide. Well, we want to set this up on the slide master. So to get there, we're going to click on view and then we're going to click on slide master and we're going to scroll up here to the big daddy up here. This is the one that will populate to all the others. So let's say I don't like this font. Well, I can change this font to whatever headline type of font that I like. So if I prefer a little bolder and if I want it a little bit bigger, I can do all that. And maybe this one I want a little bit different font. So I can change my fonts on my slide master. And I can add things in here. So let's go ahead and say I want to insert pictures and I'm going to go to stock images. And I'm just going to grab a little icon because I want my name and my logo down in the lower right hand corner. And I'd like that to be on every slide um, that I create. So I'm just going to click on icons and I can search for icons or I can just scroll through and find an icon that I like. I'll pick bats. Here's my little icon. I'm going to size that down a bit so that it's really small. Put it down in this corner. I can zoom in a little bit. Look at my bats. And then I'm going to also go to insert text block and put my name down in the corner here. I'll right justify that, put that with the bats. And I think I'll put my website information on here in case people want my website. And I could change the text size on this if I like as well. Now let's say that I would like a different color background on my slides. I can right click and go to format background and I can pick a different background color that I like a little bit better. Once I'm finished, I'm just going to click on the slide master again and close that master view. And now I can see exactly what my slide will look like. Zoom out, there it is, with my website, my name, and my little flying bats. And if I made a new slide, that's control M for make a new slide, you'll notice that they all are the same with the bats and my name and this other information. If I wanted to change this, you'll notice that since it's on the master slide, when I'm creating my slideshow, these don't move around. If I wanted to edit anything here, I would have to go to view and go back into the slide master view to be able to move these items. That's kind of the beauty. And if I would like this to be saved as a template, I'm going to go up here and say save as. And when I do that, I'm going to browse and pull this down to a PowerPoint template. And this will automatically, so I chose the wrong template here. I want POTX, which is the modern version. It automatically saves in this custom office templates. I do not want to move it to a different place. And I could give that template a name. Now, every time when I go to New, and instead of starting from a blank presentation, I could click on Personal here, and I'm going to find all of my personal templates. And I bring that template up, and I create my presentation, 
and I'm not going to affect the template. The template will always be there blank for me the next time I want to use that template. I will always have my signature fonts. It's always going to have the bats and my names and all of that from that template. So that was File to New, click on Personal, and my personal templates will be located there.